A great deal of wastewater in Japan originates from bathing and washing. Flush toilets should only be used with jokaso in areas where sewerage service is not available before small-scale gappe shori jokaso were developed. Jokaso were installed privately as a facility for meeting the needs for flush toilets and as a minimum sanitary requirements. From the 1980s, the government started to support Gappe Shori Jokaso, treating both gray and black water, and aimed for the spread of this facility. Besides public sewerage and Jokaso, there are a centralized system such as community plants and rural sewerage for domestic wastewater treatment. The Ministry of Environment, the Ministry of Agriculture, Forestry and Fisheries, and the Ministry of Land, Infrastructure, Transport and Tourism support local governments financially for them to promote the construction of wastewater treatment facilities. Depending on the amount of wastewater received, there are large-scale jokaso which work as wastewater treatment plants and small-scale jokaso installed in houses. The smallest jokaso is designed for 5 persons or 5 PE. Jokaso treats wastewater from flush toilets together with grey water, which includes wastewater from kitchen or washing machine. To ease understanding, it is called Gappe Shori Jokaso. The structure method of Jokaso has been notified in the building standards. This is also called structural standards for Jokaso. Standards require Jokaso to remove organic pollutants with effluent BOD concentrations less than 20 mg per liter and to also remove nitrogen and or phosphorus. The processes of Tandoku Shori Jokaso were as follows. Septic tank process was adapted and installed until the 1960s. Jokaso with septic tank process includes a pre-treatment process that sediment, separate solids from wastewater and other processes that treat wastewater through biological oxidation bed, trickling filter, underground sand filtration or simple aeration. The biological oxidation bed and trickling filter is the same as the current Jokaso. It is a process that decomposes organic pollutants and removes them by aerobic microorganisms. This is a trickling filter. It is a biological reactor utilizing the action of water flowing from a higher point to a lower point. The septic tank can be classified into three types according to the difference of structure. In other words, there were three types at the first step and four types at the second step, making altogether 12 types. The small-scale jokaso includes two processes. One is the separation contact aeration process which is a combination of a sedimentation separation tank and a contact aeration tank. The other is the anaerobic filter contact aeration process which is a combination of an aerobic filter tank in which a filter media is filled for capturing solids and a contact aeration tank. At the first step, the treatment using an anaerobic filter tank is the anaerobic filter tank contact aeration process and the treatment using a sedimentation separation tank is the separation contact aeration process. Both treatment methods 
use a contact aeration tank and a sedimentation tank for secondary treatment and the treated wastewater is finally disinfected in a disinfection tank. In addition to removing organic pollutants, small-scale jokaso can also remove nitrogen. This is the denitrification filter aeration process. The solids in the water are removed in the denitrification filter tank and the organic pollutants and nitrogen compounds are decomposed by microorganisms in the contact aeration tank. And then, the water is agitated by a pump to promote the denitrification reaction by microorganisms while solids in the treated wastewater are separated in the sedimentation tank. There are two types of process with middle-scale jokaso. One is the same process as adopted in small-scale jokaso, the separation contact aeration process. Another is the rotating biological contactor tank or trickling filter, which is adopted instead of the contact aeration tank for secondary treatment. There are processes that include screen equipment for pre-treatment and a flow equalization tank for adjusting the quantity and quality of inflow to make the treatment performance stable. Circulation of the wastewater for nitrogen removal. The tertiary treatment device includes various treatment processes, a biological reactor to remove nitrogen, a filtration equipment to remove solids, chemicals to separate, polluted matters, and a tank with activated carbon in which the organic pollutants remaining in the water are absorbed and removed. New treatment processes for Jokaso, which differ from those in structural standard, have been developed. This new Jokaso type has received a test to evaluate its treatment performance by an official institution and has been approved by the government for production only when it was confirmed. New types of Jokaso have adopted advanced wastewater treatment technologies. In addition, Jokaso with smaller volumes than the conventional ones and high performance are manufactured. Therefore, the demand for the new types of Jokaso is strong. Its share among the newly installed Jokaso in Japan is over 90%. Let us introduce the current water environment situation in Japan. The achievement rate of environmental standards in water areas of Japan has improved little by little. With the industrial wastewater being controlled, industrial wastewater is not the major cause of water pollution. The improvement of the waste pollution caused by domestic wastewater became the big challenge. <music>